Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a puppy haul because I will be getting a puppy next Friday. I'll be getting a 8 week old Yorkie Pooh. So she is he is a mutt. Um, he's a Yorkshire Terrier and Poodle mix. First, I guess I'll start off with his bedding. It is a male and um... First off, I got this cute bedding from TJ Maxx, and it also has like this, I think it's removable, it's like a removable pillow, and I can actually flip it around, do it like that, flip it back around, and put it that way. And I also got this blanket, um, this was actually in the baby section, but it is so soft, and on the inside is yellow. And I think he's going to love it to snuggle up with at nighttime. These are the colors I got him. Um, just this red and black striped collar. And it has this gold um, pendant on it. It's so cute. It has a bow on it. And this was $4 from Ross. Everything I purchased was from um, Walmart, PetSmart. Ross, TJ Maxx, or the doll store. Um, the next one, I just got this um fake Burberry collar. I won't be using this collar for walking because um Yorkies have very fragile necks, so they actually recommend that you get a harness. So I got the same um design harness. I also got this leash in the same design. And that's it for the um, collars and leash. So I got this blanket. As I stated before, I got this blanket from the baby section in Ross. And then I also got this blanket. Because I had a puppy before and I just... Um, um, blankets were very helpful. <laughs> you know... Um, on the first few days or weeks. Um, so yeah, I got that. These are the pet bowls I got. Just this brown and black one. I wanted to get two black ones, but I couldn't find the other one. So these were $3 at TJ Maxx. Here's a, um... This is actually a kitchen mat, but I'm going to I'm going to use it as, you know, the puppy's um food and water mat. I also got this gate because um to start off, I'm not going to actually crate train the um puppy because I do have a separate isolated section in my room that um I can just put that gate up so it can be, you know, closed in like a crate. So, I'm going to start training it on that first. Um, and then, right here in this bucket thing, I brought this from Walmart. And um, it's just filled with toys. I'm not sure what kind of toys this puppy will like yet. So, I just got a little, um, a lot of things that I'm, you know, um, just going to test out and see if, they, if he likes them. So this is actually a cat toy, but it makes noise, so it can actually be used as a dog toy too. It makes a lot of noise. Um, and I got that from the dollar store. This is a dog toy, it's a rubber dog toy, and it squeaks. I got that from PetSmart. Also got this, um... Tennis ball from PetSmart. Don't know if he's going to actually play with this because my other dog didn't. Um, I got this little um, cloth toy from Walmart. And this squeaks also. Then I got this mini rope toy because, like I said, I will have a baby Yorkie. So I didn't really get any big toys. You know, I wanted to get things that he will be able to play with. 
And then I also got this chili bone toy. This was $3 from Ross. And basically, you just um, run water over it and put it in the freezer. And it helps with puppies teething. And it's actually really, like, soft. Um, and then I also got this sumo toy. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was Walmart. And it's similar to the Kong toys. And it's called a sumo mini. Don't really know how this is going to work out. But um, if it doesn't work as well as Kong, then I will be replacing this with a Kong toy. Then I also got this. I don't know what this is. It has no head on it. But it makes a lot of noise. Because, like I said before, I did have a dog before. And what I noticed is he, I mean, she liked um, toys with, that made a lot of noise. So, this is squeaks and also has, like, aluminum in there. So, I doubt if people will like me for this. But I do have a Yorkie, as I stated before. So, they are, like, almost the perfect dogs to, you know, dress up and put clothes on. So, I did grab some clothes for him. Um, First, I saw this bucket hat from Petco. And it actually has some sunglasses on it. And I thought it was so cute. So, I brought that. And it was $10 from Petco. Um... Oh, wow. This is an extra, extra small. I think I picked up the wrong one. But, um, yeah. So, I got this baseball jersey from Petco as well. And I'm just going to dress him in that with this bucket hat. And this was $15, I believe. And I don't even know if he's going to let me even dress him up in this stuff, but it's just some cute stuff. And then this was actually a dollar from Walmart. Um, it's just this sweater. And I believe it was on sale because, you know, it's springtime, so it was only a dollar and 24 cents. But it's cute, so I got it. And then I actually also got this t-shirt from PetSmart and it was ten dollars and it says I don't need your attitude I have one of my one of my own and I got this in a extra small from PetSmart and I actually got him some socks or footwear to go with them as well and I like I said guys I doubt if he even you know keeps these on but I just got them because they're cute and then I also got this t-shirt it says cutest puppy ever and I got this from PetSmart for the same price as well I believe yep and then I also got this t-shirt from PetSmart it says call me boss no I didn't get this from PetSmart I got this from Ross and it was four dollars Ooh, and i got this in the extra small now for the not so fun items um i got this freshening spray and basically i will be using this um in between washes so i plan on washing my yorkie every week and um on the days that he starts to get a little smelly but um it's not quite time for me to wash him yet i'm just going to spray a little of this on him and this is in the scent fresh snuggles and it's the oster brand got this from walmart then i also got this um h2o to go and it's basically like a dog water bottle so, this part right here, I'm going to try to do this the best way I can. This part right here, like, folds up and um, water is held up here and they can drink from it. Because it is summertime and he's going to be going a lot of places with me. So, yeah, I got this gopi. Um, and I also purchased this Oster's Oatmeal Naturals. Gentle Puppy Shampoo. 
and it smells so good it smells like baby powder um and i also got this brush comb brush so it has this um type of brush design on this side and then you turn it over and it has the more um whatever you call this has the soft bristles and then it has the hard bristles on this side so it's a two-sided brush i got that from walmart then i also got these essential adventure pet wipes um these were $1.99 from tj maxx don't know if I'll be using these, but they were only $2, so I just picked them up. Then I also got these um, trash bags, I believe they are. Yeah, garbage bags, small garbage bags for when um, he starts to go outside and use the bathroom to pick up his poop. Um, but this, I got it from the dollar store, and it actually has a carrier on it with the trash bag. Um... It dispenses trash bags. Then I also got this Kong Ziggy's. Um, this is just like a stuffing snack. It's designed for small Kongs, but it actually fits in the Sumo Mini also. And it cleans their teeth and freshens the breath. Don't know if I'll be using this because after I read um, some things about it, um... People actually advise you not to use this. So, I don't know if I'll be using this. Don't think I'll be taking it back because it was only a dollar. So, I also got these training pads. Royal Cannon Puppy um, Dog Food. And it's the Yorkshire Terrier um, kind. So, the kibbles are very, very small. I was kind of clueless on what brand to feed my puppy um because the breeder actually recommends that I feed her him Pur Purina puppy chow and that's what I fed my other dog but I am actually looking into switching brands and um so I just decided to go with this one when I get him next Friday um the first thing I'm doing is taking them to the vet. So, if the vet recommends that I do not use Royal Cannon, then I still have the receipt to take this back. And I'll just switch to whatever she recommends. And I also got this um, container from the dollar store. It was only a dollar to maybe keep my treats in. And I'm actually thinking about taking these back also because I read some reviews on them and they said not to feed your dog these. So I definitely will be taking these back, but I'm just using them in this video to, you know, state that I do have training treats for my puppy. So, yeah guys, that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see me, um bring home my puppy and some vlogs maybe on how how I'm training him or his progress then just give this video a thumbs up or maybe comment down below if you would like to so yeah bye guys